Hey, this is Vicki, um, and I'm giving you a daily dose of spiritual oxygen. I did not not even want to make this recording, but I'm being so prompted so intensely to make the video. So I'm just going to be obedient, and you guys can discern and do what you want with it. I've been under so much spiritual warfare today, it's not even funny. Sometimes I think, maybe you might, guys might think that it never happens to me. Oh, but believe me, it does. Um, it started very early this morning with ruminating thinking, which is not my thing. Um, this typically happens because um, I'm getting ready to do a retreat or I'm saying yes to a retreat, etc. It's spiritual warfare and I know it. So it was about 5.30 that it started this morning. And so I got up and I began to go into my um, my prayer time. And that led into my 20-decade rosary. And uh, it just didn't lift. It's supposed to, though. I want you guys to know that when you're doing prayer work, something's supposed to happen. And if it's not happening, continue on. Continue on to the next thing. So after the 20 decade rosary, I just did a little organizing in the sunshine to try to kind of like distract. That wasn't helpful either. So then I, I laid flat for a bit and went into my St. Michael the Archangel chaplet. It was gone. I had energy. It was gone. The thing, the demon was gone. It left. Hallelujah. And so I started to get some things done. But then this, uh, this heaviness came back. Warfare was on again. So I just started singing praises. Then um, I came back uh, after my drive and I went into listening to the Psalms. I just put the Psalms on, um, on YouTube and just was listening to it as I started pray praying. Then guess what happened? Yep, the other finger. <laughs> Can you believe it? In fact, I mean, I don't want to gross you out, but it's still bleeding. And um, this is just warfare. It's spiritual warfare. The battle is on, but guess what? We have battle gear. Battle gear. I don't want you to forget it. I'm still feeling the fight going on. But I'm claiming victory in the name of Jesus. Listen to what I used. I did something about it. I didn't shut down for the day. I felt like I wanted to, but I didn't. This is why I just didn't feel the energy to make a chipper um, daily dose. I guess someone said to me one time, it's good to know you're human. I'm like, what? You didn't think I was human? <laughs> yes, I go through this. And I go through it actually a lot more than, than uh, I share. But I think it was really important. This is why the Lord was having me share it today. I mean, it just prompted me over and over. I was like, I don't want to make one. I just don't want to make one. And then I sliced my finger open. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to make one. Battle's on. Battle gear is on, baby. I wear the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the sword of truth, and feet firmly planted in the Gospels. Amen. I pray the same Michael chaplet. I claim victory in the name of Jesus. And sadly, it's the social finger. I claim victory in the name of Jesus. I'm going after it in the name of Jesus. Can I just, I pray, inspire you for a minute that on your next time that you're feeling that depression, that oppression? Oh, yes. I felt depression today. Depression, loneliness, sadness, morose, malaise. I felt it all. <sighs> but I'm giving you a testimony of perseverance. But the Lord told St. Catherine of Siena that he perfects us through perseverance. So, I'm down, but I'm not out. Amen. I give a conference here in Cleveland. I leave on Thursday. And my uh, event host, he too is going through the spiritual warfare. Guess what that means? Huge breakthrough for the convention, for the conference, for the retreat. So you guys get ready. And guess what? I'm going to be doing a special fast for the one coming up in Phoenix on November 2nd. I'm claiming this for you. I actually... When I pray for souls who are struggling with depression, sometimes I carry some of it myself to help with the burden. Co-laboring. It's called co-laboring. Not that I own depression. It's not mine. <sighs> confirmation. I'm getting confirmation on that. I'm just helping you carry it. So I pray it blesses you. All you have been writing me about struggling with depression, uh, spousal challenges with um, 
you know, addictions, uh, children who are struggling. I'm helping you carry it today. And it was heavy. I, I get a sense of what you're going through, but I want you to know I got the battle gear on. Your key term for your knowing place, battle girl, gird, battle gear. And I was just thinking of Ephesians 6. We'll pray this stops bleeding. On Sundays, I make a very big dinner, and now I'm actually, I have the other finger kind of incapacitated if you've been following me, and now this finger. <laughs> and my son sells cut co, and he's always telling me, be careful. I've yet to cut my finger until now. Listen, God is always with us, despite what we're feeling. One time the Lord told me, go by your knowings, not by your feelings. Another time he said, you do not fight a supernatural battle with natural weapons. You fight a supernatural battle with supernatural weapons. I want all of you to hear me. I want all of you to sound off, claiming victory in the, in the name of Jesus with a yes and amen. Amen. It's been your daily dose of spiritual oxygen. I pray it blesses you. Let us unite. Let us link arms. Let us be co-laboring with each other. I'm praying for you. And if you watch Queen of Peace, we broke the yes-no agreements. If you didn't watch it, go back, break the yes-no agreement, come fully into agreement with a yes and amen. Hallelujah. Do what love requires. Amen.